Hey, it's Anya here at Our Gabled Home where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy, and sustainable living. And in today's video, I wanna share with you how you can make a cabbage leaf wrap for joint pain and joint swelling. And I also wanna give you a little bit of a personal update here. If you're only here for learning how to do the cabbage leaf wrap, you can skip this whole um, personal update here and just um, play forward to where I'm showing you how to do the cabbage leaf wrap. So if you have been following me along, you might have noticed that I have not been as active here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. And the reason is that I had a pretty bad knee injury. I was helping my husband in our kitchen remodel that's also going on at the same time here. And it's a long story, but I did fall off a ladder and severely injured my right knee. And if you know anything about knee anatomy, the ACL, which is a ligament, is completely torn. Um, there is a meniscus on both sides of the knee, on the knee, and the meniscus on the inside of the knee was damaged, and the meniscus on the outside of the, the knee was damaged. And there was a loose piece of cartilage in my knee that was probably creating more damage because every time you move a hinge and you have something in the hinge that's obstructing the hinge, you're creating more wear and tear. So my first surgery, I had that little piece of, actually it was a pretty big piece, it was two inches by about half an inch um, cartilage taken out. And it's been taking me a while to recover from that. Most of the time I have been running around with a knee brace and two crutches. Now it's really difficult to carry anything when you're on crutches, so, um, I had to learn how to ask for help and how to accept help, which is really hard for me. These days I'm off my crutches, but I am waiting for my next knee surgery, which is the ACL repair. In the meantime, I'm trying to do my best to stay active here and um, keep you guys posted on the kitchen remodel. But today I want to share with you how you can do a cabbage leaf wrap. So cabbage leaves have been used in folk medicine for a long time because they are anti-inflammatory and they decrease swelling. So if you, let's say, have a sprained ankle or you have some arthritis in your knee and have some knee pain or you have um, a swelling and inflammation and pain in your elbow, in your wrist, any joint in your body, you can do this cabbage leaf wrap. I'll be linking a study below in which they found that it was pretty much as effective as a pain medication or just regular treatment without anything and it really helps with the swelling, decreasing the swelling and also relieving the pain. All you need is some cabbage, and this is uh, green cabbage. You can also take Chinese cabbage, uh, red cabbage. Obviously, there's more staining, so I don't really recommend that. Then you'll need some cling wrap and a bottle, a knife, and a cutting board. And I'll show you how you can make this wrap very simply. What you want to do is take the outer leaves from your cabbage. I always recommend getting organic cabbage. And apparently the greener the leaves, the more active compounds you will find in there. And I find that for my knee, I can just use two leaves. And you want to cut out the big piece here in the middle. And so here's two things. You don't want to use a wooden rolling pin 
on a wooden cutting board. Now, I love my wooden cutting board. I don't own a plastic cutting board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these leaves aside for now and put the cling wrap on the cutting board. The reason for that is that if you're using a wooden cutting board and a wooden rolling pin, the juices of the cabbage leaves will go right into the wood instead of into your knee where you want them. And then you place the leaf on your cling wrap, and yes, it's cling wrap, so it clings. And here's your, um, I'm using a mason jar. You can also use a wine bottle if you have that at your house. And you want to gently crush and roll your cabbage leaf so that the juices come up. Now, you don't want to crush it all the way so that it falls apart, just so that the juices can be released because that is what will decrease the swelling and the inflammation in your joint. You can't really see it in the camera, but I can see that there's juices here on my mason jar. So we'll take one cabbage leaf and place it right on top of the knee here. And the second one goes underneath it. And here's the trick. You're gonna have to maybe find another person to help you with this, but put the cling wrap around the cabbage leaf to hold it in place. This is also so that the juices don't go into your bandage or whatever you're wrapping your joint with. And then you take your bandage and just loosely, loosely wrap it. You don't wanna wrap it so tight that it cuts off your circulation. You just want to hold it in place. And then I have one of these little things to keep that from moving. You can try this for an hour and see how you like this. It's actually um, very cooling, which is also good to decrease the swelling and the inflammation. Ideally, you wanna leave it on overnight for 12 hours, and this can be done for many weeks. In the study that I am linking below, the participants used this for four weeks, straight four weeks. So um, obviously this is not a miracle cure that's gonna decrease the swelling and the pain overnight but it absolutely helps. I have been doing it. I was able to see a little bit of improvement and I will continue doing this. And if you stay tuned, I will give you more updates about my knee health. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I usually uh, post new content here every week. And you can also go to my blog at ourgabledhome.com where I have more tips and recipes I look forward to seeing you here next time and thank you so much for watching.